Hey, it's Alison McNamara. We all have dirty boots. I know you do. Pull them out of the closet because I'm gonna show you how to clean them. First off, if you have new boots, make sure you put on a water repellent spray or lotion. It will help so much in the long run. But if you're watching this video, I think we're already past that point. If you've got a water stain and it's still wet, let it dry completely. While it's drying, you can also put some newspaper in your shoe. It'll help it dry faster and maintain the shape. Take a towel and just lightly dip it in water, get it slightly damp, and then rub it all over your shoe. The reason why we put a little bit of water on the boots first is it'll help the cleaner really work and it removes any of the extra dirt that we have on there. Our boots are now prepped, they're damp, and now it's time to apply a commercial leather cleaner. I like this one by Nick Wax. It's a spray which I think is easier to apply. So you're gonna take your spray and hold it about a foot away from your shoe and spray it all around. It's gonna make a mess. Take your cloth and rub in the leather cleaner. So it really soaks it up. This is already looking so much better. So now that I've applied my leather cleaner, I still have a few extra stains. So the way to get those out is with a little shoe polish. A little shoe polish goes a long way. Make sure you get one that's in the color of your boots. This one comes with a little sponge, which is nice. And then just dab a little amount. You don't want too much. Apply a little bit at a time. And always make sure to test it out on the heel to make sure it's the right color. And apply it in small circular motions to really get it in the leather. So our boots are covered in polish. They look good as new. You need to let them dry overnight to make sure the polish really sets and absorbs into the leather. But once they're dry, apply a leather conditioner. You can find it at any shoe store. And make sure you just really rub that into the leather. It'll really help preserve all the work we just did. Okay, now we're gonna tackle the dreaded scuff. So it might seem like the point of no return, but I have a solution for you. All you need is some water, baking soda, and a towel. Take your towel, dip it in the water, and apply it directly to the scuff. Then take your towel and dip it in the baking soda, and then massage it onto the scuff. This acts as like an exfoliant. Now this will only work for small scuffs. If you have a really, really big scuff or you've torn up the leather, it's not gonna work. But for those small scuffs, if you hit a stair or hit a corner, this will do the trick. And then just take your towel again, dip it in the water, wipe off all the excess baking soda. Look at that, it worked. Now all I need is a little shoe polish to make them look good as new. Okay, I know you've all been waiting for this. How do you clean those stains in your suede shoes? Well, I'm gonna show you how. You need these two items, a suede cleansing block and a little brush. You can also use a toothbrush if you need. Take your suede eraser or cleansing block and rub it back and forth across the stain. For deeper stains, press even harder with your block. After you've used your eraser, to restore the nap of your suede, use your little brush to wipe all that excess stuff off. Look at that, good as new. So I hope I've given you a few easy tips on how to restore those boots that you love. And one final thing I'll leave you with, make sure to always take your boots to the cobbler to get them resold for extra protection. I'm Allison McNamara and thanks for watching.